Hello fellow YouTube watchers, welcome to another video. I'm right now in Oberriedam Brintersee, let me show you. A beautiful, wonderful place. Even if it's now cloudy, it's still actually beautiful. I'm outside, as you can hear with my cell phone, and I had the idea of shooting a video for you. Uh, for a topic that is, I feel quite important, and that is fuck the I should. How often do you hear that? I should exercise. I should go to work. I should eat healthier. I should blah blah blah. And you so many I should. And even when you hear it, I should. You already hear the dread in other people's voices. Like, oh yeah, I, I, I really should more exercise. Yeah, I should do that. And usually, in my experience, it doesn't get done. The I should doesn't lead to action. The I should brings you down. It's like, I should, but I really don't want to. That's the energy behind it. It's not like, yes, man, I want to more. I want to do more exercise. I want to create this business oh yeah I'm so excited about it I want to do this YouTube video which I actually really do I want to it's not oh, I should do this YouTube video so people have more you know I don't have enough content I don't know what it's a horrible way to interact so when I started to learn this first I should and, and the impact you can feel for yourself you can feel how it is when you say when you take out right now something that you feel you should do Right now, think about something. And you tell yourself, oh, yeah, I, sh I should do my homework now. Or I should exercise now. Or I shouldn't watch all those YouTube videos. Well, maybe this one, you should. No, you shouldn't, because you want to. And you can feel the energy behind it. Feel the energy, how it feels when you say I should, and then whatever it comes. For me, it tightens the chest, it feels shit. I really don't like it. it fucking sucks. Um, and when you actually pay attention to that and you change it and you change it to what next? What do I really want to do? What's next? What's the next thing I want to do? For me, this is like, oh, it's like a weight is lifted off my chest and I want to do something. And I understand that some people, obviously, you are maybe in the current life situation, in a job you don't like and you're in a situation where you have to do certain things that you don't want to. I totally understand. However, take those time periods where it is just, what is it I want to do? What is it I'm excited to do? And it might take a little time to actually figuring out what it is that you want to do. Sometimes there's emptiness coming up. And it's just fine. You don't have to do anything. Maybe just, just the right thing right now to just sit and be present and maybe something comes up and you're like oh yeah I'm gonna go for a walk oh yeah that's really good and you're not going for a walk or you're not doing this because you're supposed to do this not because you're supposed to take off and go to a massage but you really don't feel like it so it would be also wise from time to time to block out weekends if you're in this kind of position and if you're in a position of you know being able to have more time just for yourself without getting into any trouble, take off a week, take off two weeks where it's absolutely completely open to what you want to do, what is it that you, what makes you feel alive. Because this life here is here to, to enjoy, to create something that you love. It's not here to be dreaded. It's not here that, that you, it's not here to, to, to be loathed and not wanting to do something. So the I should is something I would really watch out for. And it's fine if you ca ca catch yourself, you know, you catch yourself, oh, that's the word again, I should. And you change it. Change it to what do I want? What's next? And then you commit to that. So yeah, oh yeah, what's next? And if you're in a position like you have blocked out the week, you can be like, oh, what's next? And you might notice, for example, that your body is actually saying, I want to exercise. I want to do something for my body. And as that thought pops up, if you have enough self-observing capabilities inside of you, you might notice that little voice saying, oh no, no, 
So there's like a conflict inside of you. One is saying yes, and the other is saying is no. And I was surprised by how much there is of that conflict inside of me. How much, how much actually genuine voices from inside get shut down by that little voice in the head saying no, 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 no. And I started to make, I made a commitment to myself to really listen to that. And to listen to the first voice, the voice that wants to do something. So I go, I want to exercise. And then, then it comes, no, I don't want that. I'm like, oh. It just got shut down. And I still would go and do the exercise because the first voice said it. So that's something as well to, to, to bring to your practice if you want to. And it's something that's fairly easy to do because all you need really is to observe yourself the best you can. And it doesn't matter. Look, it doesn't matter if you fall into the I should trap. I sometimes fall into the I should trap as well. Well, whatever. Get up, back up, get, get up back into the cell. That actually is fun for you. That serves you most. So I hope you enjoyed that YouTube video. If you did, like it, share it in any circle you want to. And I look forward to see you in the next video. Take care.